So, you want to grow a beard? Cool. So I filmed myself over the last nine months at different points, capturing my thoughts along the way on what I was doing and why I was doing it. I've trimmed twice to get here, but let's go back in time and, uh, and have a look at what I did and when I did it. I've been growing my beard for about uh, a month now, so it's full, pretty, pretty full. A lot of the questions that I get from you guys are, um, you know, do I trim it? What do I do? I've only got a short moustache coming in. Um, good questions. Um, is grow it all out, keep it trimmed, shave the cheeks a little bit so you look tidy, trim around the neck so you look tidy. This is about three months of growth. Three, yeah, three months of growth. Um, I need a haircut. I'm looking particularly Moses. This is what not to do. Fluffy, hairy, all over the show. The moustache is coming along really nicely. As you can see, it's very long, but it needs, it needs trimming. Get the brush. It makes it look a lot more tidy, a lot more full, and it gives it all direction, which is great. Do what you want. But it's still important to keep it trimmed under your neck. But it's starting to get all funny and fraying and different sort of angles. It's definitely time to trim it up. As the beard grows, get regular haircuts. You don't want to look too shabby. You don't want it to get away on you. Your beard keeps growing, your hair's got to stay looking sharp. Usually short is the better as well. Haircut, trim, haircut, trim, haircut, trim. And as you can see, it uh, gets very icy in your beard when you're in the snow. So, uh, better on your beard than on your chin, right? It's been quite a while now, and you can see it's getting pretty darn long. But, I have to get it looking pretty good for work. My, my boss is starting to make comments that it's looking a bit scraggly. And my boss doesn't mind that I have a beard. Uh, it just needs to be a little bit better, especially when I'm more client-facing. All I really want to do is just get rid of all of the, the split ends and make it look way more tidy and maybe shape it up just a little bit more. It all starts with combing. Pull it all out so the hair's fully extended. And then you're going to want to cut it to the shape that you would like it to be. It's quite thick in here. Way out here it's quite wispy and see-through. I can easily I put it in my mouth. Stick it up my nose. Just gonna take it slow. I want it full down the bottom, but I don't want it pointy. I've never cut this much hair off my face before. This is ridiculous. I want to keep it quite long from my little sole patch down. I don't want to be trimming up in here as much because this I'd like it to be long and cut. And it's actually quite healthy for you to trim your beard regularly. It's the same with your hair on your head. Um, you get split ends in the hair. Pretend that's your hair. You get split ends, it does that. And then you've got two little fractures and then they're easier to break off. And so that's why girls who grow their hair quite long um, actually chop their hair quite regularly. They don't take much off, but they just make sure that the dead ends are gone. It's exactly the same with the beard. And uh, that way my hair follicles can start focusing on growing longer instead of repairing themselves. Uh, and hopefully, I mean a longer beard faster. This is seven months of growth and it's hard to maintain in a, in a business industry because I do marketing for a job. So, you know, it's cool to have a beard, kind of hipster and all that jazz, but you can't look homeless. I had long hair once and I grew a moustache, then I grew a beard and uh, having long, like the middle of the back here, I look a lot like Jesus. And uh, that's cool, but I like it a bit shorter. It just balances it all out. People do whatever they want, and that's awesome. And they can pull it off. Or well, guys have like the hardcore pompadour. They comb it right back, real slick on the sides. But um, I can't pull. Well, I could pull it off if I wanted, but you know, they've usually got like small plug earrings and like they're like real hipster. And I don't know. You just can't pretend that kind of thing. It's got to be who you are. 
The beard is the extension of the man. So as you can see, I'm doing the, the shape. All right. But I'm also shortening it just under here a little bit. Because all this is being done in the name of tidiness. Okay, now for the top lip. So, my kind of rule of thumb is have just a little bit of pink showing there and have it go down on an angle like that, comb it down, little snips, little ones. I stay on top of this like once a week, so just little snips off the end of the moustache. Those bits there, I trim those just so they don't interfere with curling out into my moustache. I just, I just dry shave, put my finger along the line just use it as a rough guide. You know, I don't even bother using a uh, shaving cream. You know, my blade's fine, my blade's clean. Same on the other side. A lot of you guys have uh, viewed and liked and commented on my moustache video on how to grow just the moustache, the big curly moustache. And so I thought I'd just follow it up with doing my beard. Awesome. Thanks guys. Um, I'll be posting more videos over time uh, and I'll keep you updated on my, my beard growing and the tips that I have and check out my other videos. Alright guys. Just a little bit. It's a process. <laughs>